Welcome to the GABA Arts District. I'm Jason Ostro, and you're witnessing Blight to Bright. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be back here, pretty much. Like, it, it was blocked. You couldn't drive a car through it. You could hardly walk through it. It was just, it was nasty. The GABA Gallery Arts Alleys, I like to call them, are really special to the community. It's a chance for us to take pride in the area and pride in the community that we have. What's really gorgeous is we've got artists like Tuzer and Morley and so many other great artists like Phobic who have lended their talents and lended their um, expertise to really make this a much better place in Los Angeles. It might be a nasty alley when they first got here, but what they did was really just cultivate it and give it just a little bit of love, and that helps everyone who lives here to love it just as much more. So this project was started out of a love for art um, and the ability to actually create something that a neighborhood can really love. One of the, the words that we use a lot with this project is blight to bright because the alleys are strewn with trash and a lot of gang graffiti and a lot of problems uh, just with buckets and buckets of really terrible refuse. So one of the things that we really wanted to do was change that and make our area a more welcoming place. So we cleaned up the alleys and immediately our neighbors gave us permission to um, paint on the walls. And as soon as we did that, the project just took off. And more neighbors came out and saw more pieces. And then they would say if they didn't want us to do it before, oh, I want something on mine, I want something on mine. And the next thing I know, the whole alley's done. We painted on a couple of uh, businesses in the, in the general area. And uh, I was looking for more walls. And um, lo and behold, one place that we thought we could branch out to and not have too much uh, hesitation were was the alley. Street art for me is expression. Street art for me is a way to put something in a large format that you normally wouldn't necessarily do. It's a way of saying how you feel or expressing um, just something that you want to do in beauty um, for a much larger audience. Street art is kind of taking the world and making it its, a, its own gallery. I think the majority of people uh, are appreciative. If they don't want what we're doing on their home, they tell us and we don't paint their their walls, but um, yeah, I haven't heard many complaints. Most people name their gallery after themselves or name the gallery after something very special to them. And uh, I had lost my father three years before I opened the gallery. He had passed away, and um, you know, opening the gallery, people said, "Hey, why don't you name it the Jason blah 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 whatever gallery?" And I was like, "Well, I don't want to name it after myself, but I will name it after my father." So my father was a very big person in the sense of nicknaming. Him. My nickname as a child was Gaffa. So in order to honor my dad, I just kind of figured I would name it that. And then that way, when anybody ever mentioned it, it would be kind of like hearing my dad say something. My mother's an incredible artist. She was somebody that um, I watched out of the love, watched her love and appreciation for art and the way that she sculpted her own paintings for fun or the commissions that she took on and sold to different people, collectors of, all around the world. It was one of those things that um, I would go to museums with her as a child and we'd walk around and she'd point out different artists and say, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so. But I grew up around so much of her art that none of the other art really I liked. I started doing art professionally uh, probably at the, the turn of the century, like 2001, 2002. And I did it and uh, about halfway through making a painting, a friend of mine came in and said, I want to buy that. And I said, oh really, what do you want to spend? They gave me, uh, they were like, a few hundred dollars. I was like, as soon as I'm finished, it's yours. No problem. And at that point in time, uh, uh, this was 14 years ago, I, I was kind of looking for something that I could do for fun that would make me money. About three years ago, a friend of mine was looking for a space for his business and walked into the gallery and said, wow, let me call Jason. He gave me a call and I said, hey, I think I found your gallery spot. Come down here right now, uh, you don't want to miss it. And I came down and sure enough, this is home, and um, found the place and signed a lease, and three years later, here we are. Well, the renaissance is that all of our artists come together and create something that's so beautiful that basically promotes more art, and essentially it's what we're doing with the Alex. You know, it's, it's moving our structure of art outside of the, the, the confined walls of the gallery space and taking it out into the streets where there are no walls.